This is section R3, order of operations with decimals, problem type one. So the most important thing here is to make sure, like on a test per se, that you show the steps um, that you're calculating. Most of the decimal work we will be using the calculator for, but it is important that you show what you did first and what you did second and so on and so forth. So for my order of operations, we've got four steps, right? The parentheses, then you've got um, evaluate, then you've got multiply and divide as long as you go left to right, and the last step, add and subtract as long as you go left to right. So here, I don't have any parentheses or any kind of grouping symbol so we're going to we don't have any exponents or square roots or absolute values to evaluate so we're going to jump into this multiplication here and so in my calculator I'm going to type 0 0.56 times 0 0.4 and I get 0 0.224 now I'm going to bring down the 7.83 and the plus sign since I did not use it in my calculator so then the last thing to do is 7.83 plus 0 0.224. And we end up with 8.054. Okay, the next one, same situation. We want to make sure we follow our order of operations. So one, there's no parentheses in this problem. Two, there's nothing to evaluate in this problem. Three, I do have some multiplying and dividing, but I do need to do them from left to right. So the first one I need to do is this. And when we say do them order from left to right, it is important that you only do one operation at a time. Um, some problems it won't matter, but then others it will. So it's very important that you only do one operation at a time. So then now the next multiplication is over here. And 7 times 3.7 is 25.9. And then finally, I can add and I get 29.5. And this would be the final answer. Okay, so it's just important that you show those steps for this topic.